this video I will show you three ways how you can measure, monitor the 12 volt battery in your electric car to see whether you can still keep on driving in the winter or in the summer and when it's time for to replace it really. If you're new to the channel and you like this type of content, please subscribe. Los kids! Uh, the first example is this uh, handy portable uh, 12 volt battery measuring device that I got. Uh, I recently got this one because it got good reviews on Amazon. And with this you can connect it with these clamps right here to the battery, which I'll show you right now how it works. But you can also check it via an app. So we first connect the positive to the positive terminal and then the negative to the negative battery terminal. And then we can see that the device is already powered up and ready to go. And you can see that it measures now full and we have 12.7 volts. The only thing you need to do a battery test here is just to push the test button. Zoya. And then it says here we measure 12 volts and it says the battery health is good. So you know immediately that the battery is fine and it doesn't need to be replaced. This also works via an app, via Bluetooth on your phone, which is really great. And then you can see a lot of detailed battery statistics. I'll show you now how that works. I open it up. I press battery test. And I've added already my battery. So this is a uh, 2020 Open Ampere E Chevrolet Bolt TV. I know it's an AGM flat plate battery. And the CCA, you can just Google that. You answer, I know that mine is 535. I press next. And then I can see the test takes place, the battery test, it measures 12 volt, it's green. And I get the whole list of uh, uh, results here and statistics. And I know that this battery is good, see it has a state of health of 90% and a state of char charge of 96%. This battery is good and I can keep on using it. You can save the statistics so that you can look them back later. Another test I really like to do, and this is an electric car so I cannot do the cracking test, is the charging test. And then you can see that this car is charging normally, 13.5 volts is excellent. So anything that is lower, perhaps you'll get the result here that the charging is not normal. There may be something wrong with your battery. And also a very nice device. I really like the simplicity of it, that I can use it via an app or just with a quick test. And I can save these results so that I, for example, if I do this in the winter or before a long road trip, I can compare them and I know exactly that I'm in the green zone. Also, just a car dealer or something cannot say, hey, your battery is not good, it needs to be replaced. First you check it and make sure where you really need to pay that money before you replace anything, which is very nice. Now I'll show you two other ways how in between tests you can monitor it actually while you drive to make sure you don't get any surprises while you're actually traveling. Here it goes. And the second way I really like to uh, check my 12 volt battery in my electric car using uh, OBD reader, uh, onboard diagnostics, you plug it into your OBD port and then via an app you can see exactly uh, when the car is parked or when you switch it on how the uh, 12 volt battery is uh, being charged or what's the state of charge and with that way if you don't spot any abnormalities you can act on time before you get stranded somewhere. Let me show you on the app how it works. Underneath here, verdammt nog maar. Well here is the OBD port, it's different than any other car. Oh, yeah. And you pair it to your phone. So I'm opening the app that came with my uh, OBD uh, port. The good thing is you can buy any device um, and you can use a wide variety of apps. So just select the ones that you like. I got So in here in one of the dashboards I have the 12 volt battery. You can see it's at 13.5 volts. I know the battery is being charged well and that everything is uh, totally fine. If I switch off my car you will see that this uh, actually starts dropping uh, but as long as it stays uh, above let's say uh, 12 volts, 12 and a half volts I know that the battery is in good shape and doesn't need to be replaced. Session! Yeah and finally uh, the third way how I like to monitor and check uh, whether my 12 volt battery is in good health in my electric car is I use one of these 12 volt cigarette uh, outlet uh, adapter plugs uh, and next to it having two sockets here and some USBs, it shows here in the middle exactly what is the uh, uh, voltage. So I can check when it's in idle mode, but also when it's being charged, what's the voltage and how healthy my battery is. Let me show you how that works. I can see 
that I have 12.4 volts, so I know that my battery is in good condition, 12.3, while it's here in idle mode. And then when I fire up the car, uh, you can see that it starts charging, and we're now at 13.2 uh, volts, so that also confirms the readings I did with the OBD and with the quick test in the front. And this is excellent, because here you can very easily check whether everything is okay, or whether you need to take action with your battery. Session. Yeah, and those are my uh, three tips, three ways how I check the 12 volt battery in my electric car. Super important, like in any regular car, also in electric cars, if it doesn't work, your car just won't start up and you won't go anywhere. And this 12 volt battery powers all the computers and everything. Uh, and you need to have it in order uh, to get uh, the big battery also fired up with the, uh, via the battery uh, control system. I can highly recommend this device if you want to have detailed statistics. I would say let do that two or three times per year in any case before a big road trip. And then uh, on the back of it I would use for example, uh, let's say this OBD reader, very convenient because you can reset also errors in the computer when you're on the go in the middle of nowhere. So that you can continue driving and perhaps don't need to call anybody, perhaps it's just a software error and this thing can really help. And uh, aside of that, I really like to have this not only because I have more power capacity in my car, but I can see exactly what the 12 volt battery is doing. Let me know whether you have ever gotten stranded because of the 12 volt battery in your electric car. Do you have any other way uh, to monitor this? Tell me also how reliable these devices are, especially this one. I think it's great and has detailed statistics, but how reliable is it? Let me know if you're an expert in the comments and uh, please subscribe. And I hope to see you again in one of my new videos. Auf Wiedersehen!